Howdy YouTube, a really cool review for you today and that's because we're taking a look at the newly released Suicide Squad. In particular though, we've got the special edition here that comes with the extended cut, the theatrical cut, and I guess the main reason I bought this set, and that is of course for the graphic novel as well. So with that, let's get this opened up and out of packaging. <laughs> Okay, so here we have the set opened up. A quick look at the back of the packaging. You can see all the bonus features and everything that it comes with. Explore the secret files of the Suicide Squad. Personally, I enjoyed the movie. I know a lot of people didn't like the movie. A lot of my friends refused to see the movie. A lot of people uh, didn't like Batman vs Superman, so they thought this one was going to be crap, so they didn't watch it. Uh, you know, in particular, a lot of my friends had no interest in seeing this movie and still haven't seen this movie. To be honest with you, I thought it was a lot better than what a lot of people thought. Mind you, I did like Batman vs Superman, so if you're not a fan of that movie, then you're probably not going to be a fan of my review of this one. But I really enjoyed Suicide Squad. The Joker and Harley Quinn were fantastic. I think they absolutely nailed the roles. Harley Quinn was a little bit different to, I guess, the comic-y style Batman animated series Harley Quinn that I grew up watching, but still, uh, uh, Margaret Robbie did a, a really good job with that. Uh, Jared Leto as the Joker was fantastic. I think he's one of my favorite Jokers. Reminded me a little bit of the Jack Nicholson Joker. Uh, kind of really twisted and demented a few of the scenes there, especially to where they're at the club with Harley Quinn and you know, there are a few things that he did that, uh, to me, just showed he was like a genuine sicko, which I guess is what you want in uh, The Joker. Will Smith, one of his better acting roles recently, at least that's what I thought. Uh, again, this guy really had no no value for me. Uh, Captain Boomerang was good. Good laugh value. I was expecting more from uh, the pyro stuff. She was pretty cool. The CGI on him, I think, wasn't bad. But he looked too scrawny when he took uh, took off his uh, like hoodie jacket shirt. Uh, you know the face made him look really buff and, and macho, and he kind of wasn't, which uh, was unexpected. And then we got some other characters there, and then we have the uh, main villain from the original Ghostbusters movie who made a cameo in this as well. Uh, taking a look at the back, there's a read up there. I'm interested to see what this graphic novel is uh, all about, to be honest with you. So let's open it up. The first thing that I notice is, uh, ah, that's cool. That is actually really, really cool. So the discs are at the back of the comic book. That is fantastic. I love that. That's awesome. We have the theatrical version and then the extended version. The actual discs themselves look really cool, kind of faded. I rate that, actually. I was not expecting that. That is very cool. And if we just have a bit of a flick through the actual comic itself, the artwork looks quite nice. Show you guys some of the, the pages and stuff. It looks like it is just a straight up um, retelling of the actual movie. But the artwork is really good. I'm going to flick through. I'm looking forward to reading this, to be honest with you. Batman, again, Ben Affleck. I don't care what anyone says. That is the best Batman. thought he was fantastic in Suicide Squad. And he made Batman vs Superman. Interesting, actually. Uh, this might not recount what happens in the movie. It might be a little bit different. That's even better if it's its own standalone story. But uh, yeah, a really cool set. I picked this up for $38 on special. Normally it is 50 bucks, which to be honest with you is a lot of money. The Digibook version uh, of this set that doesn't come with the comic, I think has the best artwork, then uh, the Steelbook as well. Special thank you and shout out to uh, a good friend of mine, Paul. His uh, channel as well, he reviews a lot of movies and, and TV shows and, and Blu-ray and DVD releases. Excellent channel. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have known that uh, this had even you know, been released as a comic book set. So a massive thank you to Paul. Great guy. I will put a link to his channel in the description below. So make sure you check that out. Give him some love and support because he's a, a top guy and a really good friend. So once again, I hope you guys have enjoyed this review on the Suicide Squad comic book or graphic novel exclusive set.